Hello, today I will show you how to customize your iPod without well, permanently etching something into the glass. It's quite simple and for those of you who hate the clicky home button, this is for you. The project will well, set you back $35 if you do not have an in-case slider case like this one, but if you do, this cost, uh, the cost of this is priceless, or no, sorry, cut, it's, it's free except for paper and a marker, or, and scissors, I'm sorry. Um, so, first of all, to start you need an in-case slider from, it's a case from in-case, it just pops off and uh, slides out. So, so you can just, so first of all, I actually have to leave the case out. Yeah. And what the actual customization job is, is that we will make the iPod look like this by putting some strips of paper on it. Uh, just to make it, just to customize it, you can write stuff on it. Uh, and it gets rid of the clicky home button. So, first you have to find some whatever colored paper you want. Um, Preferably kind of thick stuff, not like printer paper. That I don't think that'll exactly work. I got this actually from a life-size iPod Touch thing from Reader's Digest, and you can win one. At my grandma's house when I was there. It was like expired and old, so I just asked her if I could take it. Made something. So what I did is cut it out to the dimensions of the iPod. Well, actually, it was the shape of an iPod in the first place. I wrote my name and a smiley face there, and on that. Set for the home button, I wrote iPod Touch, and there's the spot for the home button, and it's just like, it's a, real, a very soft home, and I really love that, because I absolutely cannot stand, like, the clicky type, it just quite annoys me. So, first what you want to do is place this on here. Uh, so, and then well, slide it, slide it in here, somewhat. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is kind of okay. So you just hold it in there with your thumb, thumb, sorry, and slide this down. It takes a while. It's not as hard as the top. Oh boy. A lot harder than it was at other times. And it gets a little bit sticky at the top, so just push it in, push it, and push it, and push it to the top till it's about right. That was a fail, so I'll just have to pull this out a little bit. Okay, so I have to Redo this. Oh my gosh. There. Let's just put it back in there. Maybe at the top. And then goes under. There. And there. So there. There's the top. The top is on so you can write whatever you want. But it's just paper. You don't have to have black. You can for a can have like a lime green iPod, that would be very cool. And the bottom is quite easy, you just put this on here, make sure the home button is there, I'll just grab the other side, and then you just put the lips of that over, over there, and then just slide it on there, like that, and slide that down a little and there there we go so now you have a very soft home button so and another thing this fixes is that if you have a slider part that is very loose and comes off this actually uh, puts something in the middle there so it stops from sliding. In fact, it takes a little bit of force to 
get the uh, bottom off so it fix gives your iPod some customization, get rid of a clicky home button, and stops this from moving. So three advantages in my opinion, and it's quite easy to do, sometimes a little frustrating now. So um, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.